Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this screencast, I want to look at WordPress staging and merging using Blog Vault. Staging is important in the process of developing websites. It allows a developer to make changes without putting the production site in jeopardy and without interrupting service. But if you're making changes on a staging site while the production site is still active, what happens if visitors to your site leave comments, upload files, become members, or if it's an e-commerce site, make purchases? When you bring your changes from staging back to production, you have to carefully merge in your changes so that you don't lose any of the important activity that happened during development. I knew that Blog Vault offered a staging site if you have your backup set up with them, but recently I noticed that they also offer merging. Here I am on their features page. So I had the thought just to try it out and see what happened. This is going to be a rather unsophisticated, quick test. I've not done this before and I have absolutely no idea how it's going to work out. So let's give it a try. I have here a site that I use for testing. It's hosted on Cloudways and I've reset it back to default. I've got the 2017 theme and if we go back and look at the dashboard at the plugins, I have Elementor and Pro. I have managed WP, which is how I keep it up to date. There's the database reset. I also have Malcare Pro installed. Malcare and Blog Vault are two sister companies, and apparently the plugin's the same, but it gets branded as Malcare if you install that first, or Blog Vault if you install that first. But anyway, go figure. I've disabled the caching plugin and I've disabled the WebArcs firewall. I disabled these so we won't wonder if something else is playing a role if something goes wrong. And I disabled the mail SMTP plugin because I don't foresee sending mail during this process. All right, so now I'm going to go to the Blog Vault dashboard. And here we are. I'm going to add a staging site. So first thing we see here is that looking at the times of the backups are in GMT. But this is the most recent one in the site as we saw it on PHP 7.1. So I click Submit. Okay, it finished. It actually took mm, close to five minutes. I cut out a lot of the dead time there. So now we're ready. It shows the username and password. And now enter them. Okay. So here we are. Let's see if everything looks the same. username and password. So I'll enter that. Okay, so here we are. One thing I notice is we have a domain mismatch on our Elementor Pro license. So I could reactivate it on the correct domain, but we'll just let that stay there. We're gonna be quick. So what I wanna do is make some changes here. Check our plugins. We have the same ones installed. So we see our size called staging and migration test. It's actually staging and merging tests. So let's fix that. So we're changing the name of the site. Now let's go to the sample page and let's edit it with Elementor. So I want to add an image and I've prepared one. And we'll move it up above the words there. Okay, so we've edited the sample page now with Elementor and we'll see if that goes over. Then 
I want to change the theme. Let's install Astra. Okay, so let's see how that looks. So we've made a few changes on the site. Let's check out the sample page. All right, so we've changed the name, we've changed the theme. We've edited the sample page with Elementor and added this image. Now I want to go back to the production site, which is still on the 2017 theme. And let's leave a comment. Here is a comment on the on the production site. Okay. So back to our staging site. I think we're done now. So now we want to go back and merge our changes in and let's see how that goes. Go back to the blog vault dashboard and merge. Okay, so it's, I guess these are the database tables, the staging site, and the production site. It would be nice if we saw that there was a conflict, right? Because we know that on the production site, there was a comment entered. Let's see, here are the themes. So we, okay, it shows that. Okay, so, so there's no option to look at this, so we'll just have to hope it does the right thing here. Now it wants my server details, so I'm gonna go get those, pause the video and enter those. Continue. Select the folder where the site is. And it's done. Let's go take a look at the site. Okay, it's got the Astra theme. The name has changed. We have the page created with Elementor. But we lost our comment. So where we, when we were on the screen, where it listed the database tables, we would have had to uncheck the comments table to avoid overwriting those. And if this was our own site and it wasn't too busy and comments might have been the only thing entered, then you could manually do that. But if you had a very active site, that might not be practical. What this tells me is that the staging feature is very functional, but the merging feature is limited. So I hope you found this video interesting. Thank you for watching.